Experiment. Explore. Enjoy. So, hi, Thomas. Uh, hey, how are you doing? Hey. We hi. are here at uh, XOR Electronics, and you're going to show us your new expanders for the NerdSeek, right? Yes, right, right. So, I get uh, basically, uh, uh, besides, again, firmware updates, I get uh, two more expanders. And uh, one is uh, uh, the dual code expander, which is a uh, uh, two times four voice oscillator. And each, uh, each voice uh, or each oscillator has also four waveforms, which can be independently mixed, uh, which brings you up to 32 waveforms playing at the same time. And there are a lot of uh, features added, so with detuning and stuff. And it's integrated in the NerdSec, uh, so it can play in a par paraphonic way. Uh, <laughs> to get your real chords. And it's not just chords that you can do with one hand, it's multi-octave chords that you can just uh, uh, do. So uh, uh, so how, how, it does it, how does it integrate with the sequencer? In, uh, it, it, it's, it's an expander, it's get de de it gets detected uh, as an expander in the nerd sec, and then you can have a new kind of track, and in the track you get automatically a, a paraphonic track which shows you like the four uh, waves you can play. Uh, there you put in the notes, and you got also a, a trigger point that you can add, and then you can use it as a drone or use it with a filter and envelope as a, like a, a voice for play, play for this note. So every every parameters of the waveform can be uh, really uh, uh, manipulated. You can spread the waves from each other. You can make a kind of super saw, but then with four uh, waveforms. Uh, e each each part can have uh, also different. Uh, uh, one can play a sine, one can play a triangle, and then you can uh, mix them again. Um, you have uh, eight LFOs integrated that you can also use to uh, manipulate different parameters uh, within uh, the waveform so you can get really droney stuff uh, uh, with that. Um, and are the LFOs integrated into the expander or? In the expander and you could just uh, choose like a, a destination in, in this uh, for this voice and uh, just manipulate it. There are four knobs that you can also freely assign to any function in there like the LFO speed or whatever uh, change the waveform and uh, so you can have also hands-on uh, uh, manipulation. And of course, everything can be changed to the step from the nerd sec uh, or with an external uh, controller module. So uh, yeah. And it has also a stereo mode. So there are two audio outputs for these two different uh, di uh, independent parts. But they can be combined, can be deface or detuned. So the deface would be out of phase, gives a stereo field. And a detune would be more. Uh, uh, gives more move, and you can also add on this the uh, intensity uh, LFO to there, so it's, uh, uh, yeah, free to you. Um, so wh when, before we move on, when, when is, is it available now? It's What's not available yet, it will be summer, autumn this year. And uh, so it's, it's nearly finished, it's just uh, getting it ready, and the first batch is already produced, so it's uh, just uh, finishing the firmware, and then it will be, uh, it's there. So and uh, do you have a final price or like a price that you're sorry a, a price that you're aiming for? Uh, I don't know yet. Okay, no problem. But uh, since it's an, ex it's an expander, so it's it's less than a, if it would be a standard model. Of course, yeah. And if you know the, all the other expanders, not like uh, nothing is expensive here. So uh, yeah, but it can do a lot, and it, it's, it's, it enriches your monophonic uh, thing with po uh, paraphonic stuff. So that's really nice. Um, so uh, you've also got another module. Yes, uh, I, got, I got a little add-on module uh, uh, for the tip-top art system. And since the NerdSec is able to, to do polyphonic sequencing from a track, uh, I added also uh, the implementation for the art modules. And uh, so in the same way, you, uh, uh, go, let's go here. You have up to six uh, columns where you can fill in the notes and it's triggers uh, the art system uh, completely in there. And you can have two independent parts of that. 
So, uh, and you can play it, of course. You can play it with the keyboard, and that's like the polyphonic art thing. Uh, and it supports everything, uh, also the protocol uh, uh, support. So it's there, it, it can do everything art can do at this point. So yeah, and that's like a really small add-on, which will be uh, really cheap uh, uh, because it's again an add-on and it does, yeah, it's just more an interface thing. Because so. there's not really, a, 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 this is at least by my knowledge, the first, uh, uh, sequencing that I've seen in the art, uh, yes, yes, art yes. realm. Yes, yes, I think it's called Octopus, the uh, uh, MIDI to CV converter, or the MIDI to art converter from TipTop. And this is like uh, the integrated thing. And it does also MIDI to art if you want to, because that's a MIDI keyboard, you can just do it uh, in a flexible way. Uh, yeah, it's the first one I think, at least I am know about. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. Well, Thomas. It, it was. Uh, it was a simple decision because NerdSec can sequence everything. It can do MIDI, it can do I2C, it can do CV, it can do art. And so it was it an was easy a small it was step. an easy small step to make, right? It, it was, was a small step to make because I have the environment for polyphonic stuff. So that's why uh, that's why it's there and this will also be available in the, in the summer. So uh, Brilliant. Yeah. Well, Thomas, thank you very much for speaking to us. Okay. And uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. See you. Bye.